everybody. Today we're talking about tens and hundreds on a number line. We'll start by taking a trip back in time when we had a number line from 0 to 100, and we broke that into 10 equal parts, and each of those parts was 10. Or when we had 0 to 10, and we'd break that into 10 equal parts, each of those spaces represents 1. So when I go from 0 to 1, and I break that into 10 equal parts, do you remember what each one of those parts is called? Anyone? It's a tenth. So that makes that first tick mark one tenth, the next tick mark two tenths, next tick mark three tenths, next tick mark four tenths, and so on. Let's look at an example. Here we have the space between consecutive whole numbers seven and eight. The space in between is broken into ten equal parts. We're asked, where is point Z? Well, the first tick mark is seven and one tenth, the next one is seven and two tenths, Next one is 7 and 3 tenths, which makes Z 7 and 4 tenths. Good job. So now that we understand how tenths work, what happens when I take the space from 0 to 1 tenth and then break that into 10 parts? What is each of those spaces? They're called hundredths. So that makes that first tick mark 100, second tick mark 200, third tick mark 300, fourth tick mark 400. Well, I think you get the idea. Let's look at an example. So here we have the space between nine and one tenth and nine and two tenths, and it's split into 10 equal parts. We wanna know where is T? Maybe this would be a little easier to look at if I remind you that nine and one tenth is the same as nine and 10 hundredths, and that nine and two tenths is the same as nine and 20 hundredths. So if each space is one hundredth, that makes the first tick mark after nine and one tenth. Anyone, hello? nine and eleven hundredths, which makes the next tick mark, nine and twelve hundredths, and finally point T is at nine and thirteen hundredths. Good job. Who wants to do one more example? I do, okay. Here we wanna know where is point B? So we've got 40 on one end and 43 on the other end and a bunch of stuff in between. And it looks like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, so that makes this one 41. Then this one is 42. Since there are 10 spaces between 41 and 42, each space is a 10th. So this next tick mark is 41 and 1 tenth, 41 and 2 tenths, 41 and 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, making point B at 41 and 7 tenths. Good job. Now you can practice your tens and hundreds on a number line.